Welcome back. Make beer, and that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm going to be making an easy beer. Um, I haven't made too many beers lately, but the last couple weeks I've made two beers, and this will be my third in two weeks. Um, yesterday I kegged a beer. I kegged a, an English bitter that I made, Cooper's English bitter. Uh, I made it up to 19 liters, and I used the uh, the English bitter beer kit and uh, half a kilo of dry malt extract um, and I dry hopped it with some bubble hops um, after five days of primary fermentation for about another five days. I just caked it yesterday. Everything looks looks good. It's uh, proceeding great. Um, I've been tasting it and it's a little green. It has a little, little bit of that green flavor. I assume that'll uh, age out over the next couple weeks and I'll have a very very nice session brew um, and then uh, a week ago uh, I don't know if you can see that I'll show it to you later but I did the Cooper's draft along with uh, one can of 1.5 kg unhopped malt extract syrup um, and I added like about a half kilo of brew enhancer one um, I'm going to make that same recipe this time, um, and I'm going to throw in a yeast starter that I have here. Uh, again, it's the Cooper's Draft, um, one uh, can of uh, Cooper's on Hot Malt Extract, and I'm going to throw in about a half kilo of Brew Enhancer 1, uh, boost up the alcohol content a little bit. Uh, I assume, the, uh, based on my calculations, it'll probably be about, oh, I'm going to make it to 23 liters. Um, it's uh, a beer probably around the 5% uh, uh, ABV. Uh, I've tasted some samplings of this one over here, and I'll give you a little close-up in a minute. Um, it, uh, it, it's really good already after only about uh, uh, five or six days of, of putting it together. Uh, and when you, when I'll, sh uh, I'll show you in a minute, but I've got some of my homegrown Centennial Hops flowers sitting in there uh, playing around with it. I don't know how much aroma I'll get out of that, but uh, I just thought hey, it'd be fun to see what happens. Um, so I'll give you a close-up shot of that in a second. So as you can see, here it is. Um, the fermenter has the centennial hop flowers in there. Uh, I'll probably stay with this till um, today's Tuesday I'll probably stay with it like this till Monday and I'm gonna keg this one as well I'm getting a, um, a bat, couple batches of beer running here so again here's today's plan I've got my yeast starter Cooper's draft can of unhop light malt extract and then a half kilo of brew enhancer one um, I'm gonna be my uh, fermenter is sanitized and it says a Kroisen collar, Kroisen collar and uh, spoon, etc. Um, I've got uh, about uh, five gallons of water filtered and chilled in my fridge. And uh, that's what I'll be doing this afternoon. Whipping out a quick beer. Probably take me about 20 minutes. I'll give you a... Um, I, I'll, I'll throw together some video on that as part of this amendment. So, uh, yeah, hey. You know, I'm still brewing, still putting beer together, and we look forward to uh, putting more videos together. All right, I have everything I need. Um, I've got my fermenter and Cooper's draft, Cooper's unhopped malt extract, one kilogram of brew enhancer, one. So, first thing I'm going to add to my fermenter is the is a, a half kilo of brew enhancer one, and so I'll just pour out. I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm not really that concerned about the exact amounts. I just half the bag. So there's that. Alright, and I'll use the other half in the later brew. Next step, 
Uh, the beer kit. So we've got the sachet of yeast. Although I am going to use my uh, yeast from the starter here and the instructions, which I know what I'm doing. I've been brewing for a while, but if you're interested. So I have to open the can first. While we're doing this, I'm boiling some water so I can rinse out the cans and get these uh, uh, get everything dissolved properly. It smells like malt, good old malt syrup with some bitterness booked in. It saves you a lot of time. It makes your brew day a lot shorter. Lots of goo. Open up my unhot malt. Now, it's a little syrupy. I need some, uh, start pouring it a little bit anyway. Okay. And I've got my spoon sitting in my sanitized uh, poison collar and upside down turn lid so I always have a place to put in the sanitized spoon when I'm working with it. And taking this hot water I can get the rest of this um, concentrate that's sticking to the can out. Oops, a little hot. that back in my sanitized coising collar. Make sure you use a towel when you handle the, the hot can. Okay, everything looks good. Now we can do the draft. Popped beer kit. Same process here. Again, the spoon. And one thing um, before I forget is that while the can's hot, um, well, I noticed this on a steel jam video. Um, because the, the glue that Cooper's uses is heat sensitive, once you have hot water in the can, the label, the glue will become uh, softened and the glue only comes out of the first, uh, it's right here uh, on the uh, edge. I, I don't think it's hot enough now, but you can put some hot water in it and soften, uh, she used steam, but if you just put hot water in it, um, that'll make it hot enough too. And then you, of course you want to dump out the hot water. Right now it's not good, but uh, I did this once before and I was able to successfully remove the labels. 
such as this. So if you want to save these labels later on, again, the glue is heat sensitive, so you can uh, either try and steam the glue to soften it, or you can pour in hot water into the cans and then dump it out, and at that point, the glue will become uh, easy to work with. Some people like to save the labels for their brews. You can put it, like if you're kegging, you can put it on the outside of the keg, just to remind yourself you know, what you've got, or you know, for any other reasons you might choose to use it. They are attractive labels. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm gonna get this uh, uh, draft completely stirred in. The draft to be okay. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. I hadn't brewed with a draft ever, actually, come to think of it. I just kind of a little bit of a, like, what is a draft sort of concept. Then when I made it on my last batch, I was really pleasantly surprised. I mean, I think this is an extremely good beer, underappreciated. Again, here we are. It's uh, completely out. And I'll probably uh, try and smooth out some of the goo on here. Um, and then maybe I'll save these labels by doing the, uh, the hot water in the can. It's kind of neat. Um, they're very attractive labels. So, I've got to get this wort stirred together here. Make sure it's all completely dissolved before I add the cool water. And I can pinch my yeast. water out and see, see if I can have some success with the label here. The can is really hot. So using a sharp knife. See that? Voila. Very good. Thank you, Steel Jam. Uh, see then at the end. And again, it's hot there too. But so, not the most perfect label in the world, but it does work. So, okay, now back to the fermenter. I'm making sure all my brew enhancer and my Cooper's draft and the hot lager, probably the hot light extract is completely dissolved. So and the next step is to, oh there's a little clumping, not too bad. Next step is to add the water. Yeah, and we're going to have 23 liters of brew. Okay, still a little bit of a clumping here. Okay, let me add the uh, water now. <clears throat> oh.
23 liters. All right. Lots of beer. Okay, now I'm going to make sure it's all blended nice and good. And stir it up. I'm done with that. So, take a hydrometer reading. You can see what the color is going to look like a little straw color. Uh, drop the Cooper's. So I don't know if you can see that, but the hydrometer reading is 1.050 or 1.049 or so. And the, um, again, I don't know if you can see this, but it uh, looks like the water is actually at 16 degrees uh, uh, Celsius, which is a little on the cold side, but given the temperatures are a lot warmer than that right now, I think we'll, we'll be fine. Um, they'll warm up to, uh, it's about 23 liters. So, and you can see inside, it's, I, just, I just filled it up. Um, so let me add that yeast, and let's uh, do that right now. Okay, got my starter here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add both. I uh, just in case, I'll add the, uh, the sachet as an insurance policy here. But uh, I'll start with with uh, some of my starter. Uh, give that going. And I think we'll be uh, we'll be a little happy here. So, and then I'll add the sachet, pause it. Now it's kind of hard to do both uh, filming and making a beer, but I wish I had uh, somebody here to help me out, but here we are. We got some yeast in there. And the next thing will be to put the Kreuzen collar and the lid on, just to keep the um, um, fermenter going. Now. Poison collar just slips on such in this way. And basically, for you, those of you who wonder where the airlock is, the Cooper's fermenter is one big airlock. The gas releases from the uh, uh, top and comes out and then it shuts back down. There's some clips you can put on to keep it out, but I'll be, uh, I'll be uh, kegging or bottling. Uh, before that becomes an issue. So here we are. Perfect. And another short brew day and another uh, uh, day of uh, success. Um, let me get one of my uh, Cooper's English Bitter that's only about uh, two weeks old, I believe, or no, less than two weeks old, but it's in my keg, and uh, I can take a little toast of that. Hold on. Here it is. So the English Bitter, it's only been in the keg for... Um, uh, well, less than 24 hours. Um, so it's, it's kind of flat and it's a little hazy still. Um, give it two weeks and it'll be lovely. Uh, right now, a little green, but it's still <laughs> actually a very good beer. Um, yeah, it's a good beer. Very pleased with this one. Uh, I've never had uh, a failure with the Cooper's English Bitter. This is a, it's kind of my style of beer anyway. Mm. Very clean, very refreshing. Um, what can I say? So anyway, let's keep brewing. Um, I'm not sure what my next beer is going to be, but now I've got three beers. Uh, my pipeline's getting filled. I'll probably just keep pumping them out. 
so that when I get busy, I'll have plenty of beer. Maybe entertain some uh, friends over with a uh, partaking in a keg and uh, enjoying some football games. So cheers, everybody.